Bonne année à tout, mon, tout le monde. Happy New Year, everyone. Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans notre pays? What's happening in our country? Une grande augmentation dans la criminalité. There's been a big rise le coût de la vie. The crime rate, the cost les morts of living. à cause des drogues. Le chaos total, drugs and total dans nos chaos aéroports when it comes to our et notre système d'arrêt. Tout semble être brisé. Oh, seems to be broken. Justin Trudeau sera oh, offusqué Trudeau would que j'ai dit ça. Insulted that I've said Il pense that. que si on ne parle pas des problèmes qu'il a causés, que ces problèmes seront oubliés. En forgotten. fait, il a dit que In je ne devrais jamais parler de ces problèmes-là parce que les Canadiens n'ont jamais eu aussi bien la vie. Have never had life il a so dit good. dans un grand discours he said in a big devant 2000 lobbyistes in front of et adjoints politiques libéraux à une levée de fonds ici à Ottawa, event here in les gens Ottawa. payent 500 dollars pour l'écouter. Il a dit to to him, que les, gens, there, les choses n'ont jamais été aussi bien. Et savez-vous quoi? Well. Il a raison. What? Pour He's les right. gens dans cette salle, c'était jamais him, aussi bien que maintenant. Les 2000 now, personnes dans la salle qui ont reçu une augmentation de contrats de lobbying et de consultations de 100 depuis son arrivée au pouvoir, pour eux, ça va très bien. Them, une augmentation plus de 5, 15 000 milliards de dollars qu'on dépense um, sur des contrats pour des consultants qui sont payés des fois 1500 dollars chaque jour. En fait, c'est 15 000 milliards de dollars. 15 so milliards de dollars, ça c'est 1 000 dollars pour chaque femme famille canadienne. Les McKinsey, ça va bien pour McKinsey, n'est-ce pas? Are, ça va très bien really well pour McKinsey. Des contrats de 100 millions de dollars, une augmentation 50 fois plus élevée qu'avant Justin Trudeau. Vous avez raison. Pour vos petits amis yes, libéraux, right. Justin, For ça va nice très bien. Friends, things are going Mais swimmingly. il y a de, de la souffrance dans les visages, Justin, que vous ne voyez pas. On faces that il y a la you're peine not seeing, dans Justin. les voix que vous n'entendez pas. And you're not il y a la détresse et des the ordres distress. dans les endroits and que vous n'allez pas. In the et si vous ne me croyez pas, And if you don't believe Venez me, avec moi then come with me au centre d'épicerie où j'étais hier soir. J'ai rencontré un cuisinier last night, qui m'a dit qu'il va devoir retarder sa retraite à cause de l'augmentation dans le coût de la vie. Mais savez-vous quoi, Justin? You know Qu'est-ce qu'il a brisé? C'est le fait comme cuisinier What il ne peut pas acheter les mêmes ingrédients chef, pour se nourrir à sa maison qu'il qu utilise au travail. C'est une attaque contre work. sa fierté personnelle. Si vous ne me croyez pas qu'il y a de la souffrance dans notre pays, cher Justin, venez avec country, moi dans, Justin, de, dans le nord de l'Ontario où les personnes âgées where... doivent vivre dans le foie All parce qu'ils ne peuvent pas payer votre taxe carbone sur leur chauffage. Ou même aux personnes âgées au Québec qui ont faim parce qu'ils ne peuvent pas payer l'augmentation de 12 dans un an pour la nourriture in parce que vos taxes sur l'engrais ont augmenté le coût that have des, uh, de nourriture. Venez avec food. moi, cher Justin, with me, pour dear Justin. parler aux étudiants And speak qui with vivent the dans les centres d'hébergement parce qu'ils ne peuvent pas payer le 2 000 de loyer que ça coûte pour un petit appartement d'un chambre. Vous, avez, vous nous avez donné une augmentation de 100 dans le loyer en sept ans. Oui, c'est vous, M. Trudeau, qui a causé ces augmentations-là. Venez avec moi pour parler aux familles des 30 000 personnes qui ont perdu une proche à cause des drogues. Venez avec moi parler aux familles des immigrants qui essaient de commanditer un membre de famille, mais qui attend depuis des mois et des mois en même temps que vous vous permettez à 90 000 personnes à traverser la frontière illégalement au chemin de Roxham. Venez avec moi, cher Justin. 
Come with me, pour parler Justin, aux victimes de la Justin, criminalité qui souffrent à cause de l'augmentation la, en criminalité de 32% depuis votre arrivée en pouvoir. Venez avec power. moi. Parlez aux Come gens and speak qui ont perdu leurs vacances parce que la désordre dans notre système de transport fédéral est totalement chaotique. Mais Justin va dire qu'il n'est pas responsable pour tout cela. C'est quelqu'un d'autre. It's somebody Il est juste else. en pouvoir depuis huit ans. He's just been in power ce n'est pas raisonnable de s'attendre à ce qu'un premier ministre fédéral soit responsable pour la cause criminelle fédérale. Ce n'est pas responsable de s'attendre à ce qu'un premier ministre fédéral soit responsable pour les aéroports fédéraux. Ce n'est pas raisonnable de s'attendre à ce qu'un premier ministre fédéral soit responsable pour l'inflation qui est causée par les dépenses du gouvernement fédéral. Mais si Justin Trudeau n'est pas capable de rien faire dans ces dossiers-là, pourquoi est-ce qu'il est là? Pourquoi est-ce qu'il est là? Il ne peut rien faire! Cher Justin, Justin, les Canadiens méritent mieux. Ça, c'est le Canada. Le Canada, où les gens devraient It's pouvoir Canada, accomplir leurs rêves. Ça, c'est le Canada. Les, can les Canadiens et les Canadiens sont des bonnes personnes. Ils travaillent fort, people. ils They're méritent mieux hard. et They on va les livrer better. mieux. On va convertir la peine que Justin Trudeau a causée en espoir dont les Canadiens ont besoin. Hope. The hope that Quand j'étais jeune, j'étais deux parents qui sont des enseignants, ils m'ont enseigné quelque chose de très important. Que peu importe d'où on vient, ce qui importe, c'est où on va. What's important uh, is where we're heading. Connaît, it ce qui doesn't importe, matter ce qu who we faire. know. What matters is Canada, what we can do. On est capable and de travailler Canada, fort et réaliser leur, nos rêves. Dans un pays uh, qui, qui donne In des, des bénéfices aux gens qui travaillent fort. Euh, la possibilité de garder un plus grand montant de chèques de paie so avec la nourriture des maisons et oui, aussi l'essence qui est abordable aux gens. And et on va livrer course, ça en éliminant la taxe carbone, uh, en incitant des municipalités de permettre davantage de construction so des maisons et des appartements abordables pour uh, nos jeunes, en permettant uh, les Canadiens à garder un plus grand montant de leur chèque de paie so pour que le travail redevienne payant ici so au Canada. Un pays où les Canada, immigrants qui viennent ici légalement pour travailler sont favorisés et non pas la, les, les passages illégaux. Quand les immigrants viennent ici, ils auront l'occasion de travailler here, dans leur domaine parce que nous, les conservateurs, nous allons inciter les provinces de permettre nos médecins immigrants, nos, nos infirmières sure immigrantes et our les immigrant autres immigrants de travailler dans leur propre domaine pour réaliser leurs rêves. Et on va renverser les politiques désastreuses qui ont causé la criminalité. cut down on waste and limit expenditure so that there's more left in pockets of the man and the woman in the street. And we're going to stop these inflationist policies so we can buy more with our dollars and so that Canadians can pay for a respectable life full of dignity. And we're going to bring back the hope that Justin Trudeau has removed. And we're going to give Canadians control of their lives once again in the most freedom-dominated country in the world. Thank you, friends. Merci. Thank you. What's happening in our country? Seriously. Look around you. Crime is raging out of control in our streets. Our people are desperate that they'll have to lose their homes because of rising inflation and interest rates the government promised would never happen. People are losing loved ones at record rates to violent crime and drug overdoses. And families who've been locked down for two years because of COVID 
are now locked down at airports when they try to get away for a small vacation. Everything feels broken. Oh, I just offended Justin Trudeau. He gets very angry when I talk about these problems. He thinks that if we don't speak about them out loud that Canadians will forget that they exist. He said this to me in a very angry speech right before Christmas where he told 2,000 liberal lobbyists and political staffers and consultants who had paid $500 to listen to him speak that Canadians have never had it so good. And you know what? For the people in that room, he's absolutely right. <laughs> they have never had it so good. The $1,000 a day consultants at McKinsey have never had it so good. In fact, the consulting contracts that he's given up have gone up 100% in the eight years since he took office. Justin, these people are very grateful to you. That's why they are donating so much to your party. The lobbyists whose contracts have also increased by 100%. Justin, they've never had it so good either. All of the political staffers around the Hill that are giving out these contracts to their long-term friends, they've never had it so good either. And with your $6,000 a night hotel rooms, you've never had it so good yourself, Justin. But let me tell you something, Justin. There is pain in the faces you do not see. There is suffering in the voices you do not hear. And there is distress and even chaos in the places you do not go. If you don't believe me, come with me over to the local grocery store in East End, Ottawa, where I was last night, where a 60-year-old-plus cook came up to me with tears in his eyes to tell me he has to delay his retirement. But you know the thing that really broke him? that he can no longer afford the very ingredients to cook at home that he works with in his job at work. Justin, if you don't believe me, come to Northern Ontario and ask the elderly woman who lives in the cold because your carbon tax has made it too expensive for her to heat her home. If you don't believe me, Justin, come speak to the students who live in homeless shelters while they go to school because the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Toronto after eight years of your leadership is $2,500 a month. That's more than a 100% increase since you took office and you've done absolutely nothing to incentivize the construction of new and affordable homes for our young people. If you don't believe me, Justin, go to the food banks where 1.5 million people go to eat in a given month. Stay around long enough. You might hear from some of the people who come to the food bank asking for help getting medical assistance and dying. Not because they're sick, but because they're too poor and too miserable after eight years of your leadership to go on living like this. If you don't believe me, Justin, go talk to the families of the 30,000 people who've lost a loved one to drug overdoses after you favored policies that flooded our streets with heroin and fentanyl and you tied the hands of our police and prevented them from doing anything about it. After you failed to hold the scumbag corporations who brought these drugs to our streets accountable. Companies, companies like McKinsey, Mr. Trudeau, companies to whom you continue to give $100 million worth of contracts. Mr. Trudeau, if you don't believe me, Go to the now permanent encampments that have taken over large parts of formerly prosperous and bustling communities in our cities like Vancouver, Toronto, and Peterborough. If you don't believe me, take a trip to the city transit, Mr. Trudeau, in Toronto, where 40 homeless people are forced to spend the night because your policies have made it impossible for them to get a home. Where crime now rages out of control and women say they're afraid to even get on the train. On June 17th, the Toronto tra uh, TTC, a woman in her 20s, died of her injuries after she was set on fire. December 8th, a fatal stabbing on, on Line 2 train at High Park Station left a 31-year-old woman dead and injured. The suspect was wielding 
an ice pick. If you don't believe me, Mr. Trudeau, get on one of those trains and talk to the people who will tell you the story of a woman who was stabbed in the head and face on a Spadina streetcar just south of Bloor Street. She was taken to hospital with life-altering injuries. These are not one-off stories, Justin. Crime is up 32% since you took off as violent gang crime up 92% after eight years in office. You are responsible for the criminal code, for the borders that bring in the illegal guns. You are responsible for our national police force. And after eight years, you have given, you have given Canadian cities that are turning into crime zones. This is your record, Mr. Trudeau. And meanwhile, illegal border crossings have exploded, crossings that were almost unheard of when you took office. This is eight years. You told us that better was always possible, and yet everything is worse, and you blame everyone else. And we know what you will do this session of Parliament. You will divide to distract. You'll try to make people afraid of each other, because you think that if an average Canadian is afraid of his neighbor, he'll forget that he can't feed himself or pay the rent. You'll try to take all of the responsibility off of yourself and to put it on others. You'll claim you have nothing to do with any of these files, as though as a federal prime minister, you're not responsible for the federal criminal code. As a federal prime minister, you're not responsible for the chaotic federal airports. That as a federal prime minister, you're not responsible for the half trillion dollars of federal debt that you have added that led to a 40 year high in inflation. If you're not responsible for any of these things, if you can't do anything about it, then why don't you get out of the way and let someone lead who can? <laughs> Leadership means turning the, the hurt that Trudeau has caused into the hope that Canadians need and deserve. Canadians are good, decent, hardworking people. They deserve better than this, and better is what they will get. Our poly of government will cap government spending, cut the waste and fire the high-priced consultants so that we can put the money back in the pockets of our people. We'll toughen corruption laws to expose the insiders who've getting, who are getting rich by making everyone else poor. We will, instead of tripling, tripling, and tripling the carbon tax as Trudeau plans, we will ax the tax and we will use technology instead of taxes to protect our environment. We will remove the gatekeepers so that our brilliant immigrants can again work as doctors and nurses and have big, powerful, inflation-proof paychecks. We will remove the gatekeepers that stand in the way of our small businesses creating jobs and opportunities. We will remove the gatekeepers so that our First Nations can, can take back control of their lives and their resources and generate massive opportunities for their young people to build skills, to fund water systems that work, and to take care of their people and take control of their lives. We will divert money that's being wasted targeting law-abiding hunters and anglers and instead use that money to reinforce our borders and keep the, the smuggled guns out. And we will use that money to provide real treatment and recovery to save the lives of our friends, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters who are suffering with addiction. We will close the illegal border crossings and, and, and get rid of the backlog that holds back 1.1 million immigrants and allow families to be reunited, jobs to be filled, and refu refugees to be rescued from danger. We will restore the hope 
that Justin Trudeau and his government have destroyed over the last eight years. We will once again make this a country where hard work pays off, where people keep more of every dollar they earn so that they can get ahead. We will remember that a dollar in the hands of the person who earned it is always better spent than in the hands of the politician or bureaucrat who taxed it. You know, we will restore the hope and the promise that is Canada. Uh, you know, we all grew up here, told that no matter where we started, if we worked hard, we could do anything. And I remember that when I was a kid. You know, I, my folks adopted me from a 16-year-old unwed mother. Uh, they're a couple of teachers. We grew up in a normal uh, South End Calgary suburban neighborhood. But they always taught me that it didn't matter where I came from. It mattered where I was going. It didn't matter who I knew. It mattered what I could do. That is the country to which my wife came as a refugee. That is the country I want my children to inherit. That is the country that we are going to restore for every single Canadian. A Canadian, a, a, a country where people are free, free to earn a living and share the proceeds with their families, free to walk safely in their streets, free to have a secure retirement that they've worked for all their lives. A Canada where people take back control of their lives in the freest country on earth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to work. Let's bring it home. Thank you.